I want to give you a quick review of my new Lutron Remote Control Digital Fade Dimmer. I have always been a home theater enthusiast and I've always wanted one of these and I couldn't fathom paying $40 for a light switch but uh, I walked into Lowe's yesterday and I found this one and as you can tell by looking at it it has been returned and retaped and I thought, you know, I'm just going to go up there and ask. So I went up to the counter. The guy said, hey, we'll take 10 bucks off. So I said, you got a deal, buddy. So I got a $40 remote control digital fade dimmer for 30 bucks. So finally, it's here, and I can be as cool as I can be in my home theater setup. So uh, here we are in my basement, in my home theater. And you can see that I've got some lights above me here. These two are on the same circuit. The uh, Normally uh, I can pull my screen down there as you see there and I can show uh, movies from my projector which is hanging right above my head. But uh, you know turning on and off the lights is kind of a drag because the light switch for those lights is right there. So here I am on the couch and there is my light switch. So I would have to sometimes you know, leap over the couch, get up, turn the lights off. And you know, when it's time to watch a movie, you don't want to have to mess with the lights. You want to be able to impress your guests with the amount of control and convenience that you have in your home theater. So I went ahead and installed this booger. This is a model MIR600THW-WH. Now, the cool thing about this, it has an infrared remote control with it, and you can control your lights. There's uh, some buttons on here. Uh, this is your on, full. This is off. This button will brighten. This button will dim. And then this one touch button here is actually programmable so that you can program the button to a certain preset. So if you like a certain setting, you can set it to be the optimal brightness. Now obviously on the lights that you have in your uh, setup, they're going to have to be either dimmable, like dimmable LEDs, or just standard incandescent bulbs. And in my case, I went the cheap route and just got incandescent bulbs. So that's what I have in my setup here. Um, I've already installed it, and I guess I'll walk over there and show you what it looks like. It was fairly easy to install. Didn't have a whole lot of problems with it. But uh, you can see here you have a little LED indicator here that's showing you the, the brightness setting. And this is your infrared uh, detector right there. So as I hit this button here, you'll see that we go to different dim settings. Okay. This right here is a timer switch that I installed in my finished basement because my kids would always leave the lights on. So I installed a timer and now they are forced to come back every every hour and turn this back on otherwise the lights go out on them. So uh, anyway that was another crazy thing. They really hate that but you know hey uh, it's saving me money. It's like stop leaving my lights on. So anyway uh, so there's what the switch looks like as it's uh, already installed. And like I said, it was just pulling out the old switch and putting in a new one. So let's look at a couple of things over here. The great part about it is you can, this is the instruction manual, shows you the, uh, the buttons that I just indicated a little bit ago. And then uh, up here it indicates what the, uh, the switches on the, on the wall actually do. So uh, tap once when the unit is off, lights brighten smoothly. Tap once when the unit is on, the lights dim smoothly to off. Press to dim, press to brighten, and the LEDs level show the level indicator. So now the reason I really wanted one of these is the fact that if you happen to have a Harmony remote, you can actually program your Harmony remote to control this light. And once you go into your settings and add the device, you're just going to add it as a light dimmer. There will be a, uh, like a category in there for light dimmer. And you can put your light dimmer on here. If I can find it. 
Where did it go? Oh, wait, I'm just switching back and forth. Okay, so here we go. We'll go this way. I think it's just one to the left here. There it is. All right, so there's my light controller, and I can hit that, and I can press all my lights off, and my lights go off. There they go. And I can hit all lights on here, and my lights all come back on. And then you can do, you know, a bright dim here. I also programmed my channel up and down and volume up and down to uh, to do the same things. So if I hit, uh, let's see, what am I hitting on? Channel down here. Yeah, channel down actually takes it down a, a step, a little step at a time on the dim. And then channel up if I keep hitting it. The lights will get brighter and then my volume up and down I, I program so that if I hit volume down it turns the lights completely off and if I turn my volume up it makes the lights completely come on so that's totally up to you how you want to do that and you can actually set a macro in with your activities which is what I was toggling back and forth on earlier so you could set an activity to say, uh, you know, turn on the Apple TV and dim the lights. You could do it that way if you wanted to. Um, I didn't put it within a macro because I want to be able to control the lights when I want to control them. So in which case, if I'm already running an activity, let's say, uh, let's say I am, uh, what would we do here that would actually work? Uh, let's say I'm watching satellite on the HD TV. So that's going over and turning on everything over there. Thanks for spending your football Sunday with us. Thanks also to Emmy Award winning actor Andre Bauer for taking on the show. Is it comedy series? Okay, that's weird. Uh, my macro's a little messed up. So I can hit, I can hit, let's say it's time to, um, to take a little break. I can just go over here and hit my devices. Let me fix the focus first. So I can hit device, and then I can go back one, hit my light controller, and then I can turn the lights on or off, you know, based on what I would be doing at that time. Like if you have an intermission or something during the middle of the movie, you may want to turn the lights back on in the middle of the movie. Or you may not want the lights to go off every time that uh, you, uh, you start up your, uh, your macro here on your remote. So there's the flexibility, the fact that Harmony recognizes this device, this Lutron, and you just, you just type in this model number. In fact, you can leave off the WH, that just indicates that it's white. But uh, So you can use that, and then you can use this remote, and you can use your Harmony to control your lights. So uh, I am really excited to have this because it really makes movie night more exciting to be able to flip the lights on and off without having to get out of my easy seat, easy chair, easy couch. So thank you for watching. I recommend one of these. Go ahead and stop, stop by Lowe's and pick you one up or your favorite hardware retailer. And uh, if you got a comment or a question, you can leave it below the video here. Please subscribe to my video and uh, share this with a friend who might be interested in um, either getting one of these or maybe setting you up with one. If you're not very good with electrical stuff, you might want to send this video to a friend and say, hey, can you install one of these for me? I'd really like to, uh, to go crazy with my home theater. Thank you for watching and have a great day.